Hello. Recently, we communicated how St. Malachy purchased the 1962 Ruder Organ Opus 1368 from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Broad Ripple in 2019. The installation of the organ and pipes is part of a series of audio and visual modifications being made to enrich the experience of Mass and other events held here at St. Malachy. Already, we have purchased the new audio system and speakers, and we also acquired new video camera equipment for live streaming and other video projects, as well as the software and accompanying equipment. The Catholic Church regards the pipe organ in high esteem. It is the traditional musical instrument, according to the Second Vatican Council, and considered the king of instruments, according to composers like Mozart and Beethoven. In many ways, the pipes, which make different sounds when wind blows through them, mimic human voices, like from the congregation that come together in harmony. Pope Benedict XVI said that in the organ, there is an image of our community in the church at prayer. Pope St. John XXIII said that the sound of the organ gave is the prelude to the renewal of Christian life expected after the Second Vatican Council. And it symbolized the life-giving breath of the Spirit of the Lord that fills the world. This organ was actually built by Reuter Organ Company in 1958 for the American Guild of Organist Convention in Houston, Texas. And it included two manuals and 25 ranks. Since then, it has been modified a few times. In 1962, it was completed with eight more ranks and eventually installed in Northminster Presbyterian Church in Broad Ripple. In 2001, Shen's organ company built a new console and divided the ranks in three manuals. In 2006, William and Wood added 12 pipes for the pedal. Each organ is unique. It could be compared as an orchestra. You cannot have a true orchestra with only violins. You need trumpets, flutes, oboes. In the same way, the organ has many different sounds that blend together to create a symphony. This organ does not have strings, oboes, clarinet, or viola. It only has a few reeds. It has only one 16-foot stop and no 32-foot stops. So we would like to increase its range of sounds and combinations. We do this by adding ranks and stops which increased the full tonal palette. In order to save expenses, we have decided to add digital stops along with some ranks of pipes. Some of the digital sounds will come from the speakers in the cupola above the sanctuary that sound like angels singing, called the celestial division. Any of these the digital sounds can be changed to pipes later. In the end, we would like to have 36 ranks of pipes and 43 digital sounds for a total of 79. That will give this organ a wide range of sounds for the poetry of our liturgy. We acquired this pipe organ for $20,000 it has been appraised as $300,000, but it still needs work to be done to create the best functioning instrument in St. Malachy Church with the right palette of sounds for our liturgical space. Later this year, Paragallo Organ Company will pick up the pipes, reeds, and console and take them back to their shop in New York for cleaning, modifications, and other updates. The organ with the new blower and casework will be brought back to Indiana for installation in the spring of 2022. I hope you feel as inspired as I do that the legacy of this fine instrument will carry on here at St. Malachy and for the classical music world. 
It will take our music to the next level and serve as an avenue for inviting the greater community into our home to experience the sacred and beautiful of classical masterpieces. It will be used not only for the liturgy, but also for concerts we provide and the ones performed by others in the fine arts. I hope you would consider being part of this legacy by donating to our campaign to complete the modifications and installation within St. Malachy Parish. Thank you so much and God bless.